how do, we, how do we deal with this? So this is where we're going into. So I got some mindsets, and then I'm going to get into my formula for basically destroying approach anxiety and social fear and how to do it. So some mindsets here. In reality, nobody gives a shit about you. Okay? This is really big. Guys are like, oh, I can talk to her, and people will, will see me. No one gives a fuck about you. I, I don't know like, how to really put this across. If you actually look around all the people walking around doing their stuff, doing their business, you could do anything you want to. And I make my students do some really crazy shit, like screaming things on the street and flipping out and running around like with their shirts off. No one cares. People literally will just be like, Pfft. no one cares. Everyone is too busy in their bubble of worrying about their thoughts and their problem and their ego and worried about what their parents think, what everybody else thinks. No one gives a flying shit about you at all. Nothing. Nothing. But everyone goes, oh, no, I can't, I can't do that. People are going to... You know, it's ridiculous. So the truth is, no one cares about you. That's actually really empowering, because you could just do whatever you want to. Maybe your mother, and, that, and then only about half the time. So just saying. OK. So the only person that really, whose opinion really matters is you. This sounds really obvious, but this can take a lifetime to really develop, to get to that point where you're just like, I know what I want. I know who I am. Fuck everyone else. If you can just get to that point, your whole life's going to be awesome. Seriously. I mean, and that might take. Years. It might take years. It might take you to 30, 40, 50. It might take you your whole life. But this is really what you want to be shooting for. And this is, and my formula is really going to help you guys get there. Okay? And, I, and I'd say again, that destroys everybody trying to live to other people's expectations, trying to do what other people want you to do. It's fucking horrific. I went on a date once with this beautiful girl. She was, uh, she was Chinese, and I'm talking to her, and she's so hot. She had this great body, and we're just hanging out. And I'm just like, yeah, so I want to know more about you. Tell me more about you. And she and she's reveals that uh, she's like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm like, okay. Uh, do you actually no? It wasn't a doctor. It was a lawyer. I asked her, what do you want? She goes, I want to be a lawyer. And I'm like, okay. Do you do you like laws? Interesting for you? And she's like, no, I don't really like it. But you're spending years and years and years and all this money to become a lawyer. I'm like, what do you want to be? And she's like, I want to have a health shop. And I'm like, why are you gonna be a lawyer? And she's like, oh, it's to please my parents. My parents want me to be a lawyer. And I'm like, that's fucking crazy. You're ruining your whole life for what your parents want you to do. That doesn't make any sense. She's like, Asian parents. I was like, what? <laughs> but it's not Asian parents. It's just, OK. So, so yeah, and so, so I've really found until you actually let go of what other people want you to do and you actually start acting out of what you want to do, um, your life will always be, you're always going to be a slave to other people's desires and wishes, and you're just never going to be happy. So really, one of the keys is stop giving a fuck. Okay. Yeah, so I think I've covered that. That's what I wanted to say. Bam. OK. So the solution. So this is the main part here. What do we do? What can we do to shut up these thoughts about what other people want us to do and our ego, which is trying to protect us? What do we do? How do we live life in a way where we're going to do what we want and live our lives and not fucking let other people ruin us based on their expectations? Yes, sir. for, well, I'd say many things, but destroying your fears as a man. If you have trouble approaching, meeting women, or working through some issue in your life, Sasha Daygame is the man to talk to. Come on stage, my man. Let's right. do it. Awesome. Listen to that. And so, yeah, there's many paths, but try and pick the path that's going to serve you in the long run. And I goes, no, all right, forget the baby. How about a date? We'll start slow, OK? Simple, effective, <laughs> great. OK, so this is, this is huge here. I, lo I love this. This is like one of the most important things I've been teaching for years and years and years and years and years. And people used to have, they pay a lot of money for this, so pay attention. <laughs>